Hello, let's try out LabChirp. It should work on Linux and Mac as well if you just install Mono and just run the labchirp.exe file with Mono. Anyways, here we are on Windows and we just start the exe, we don't have to install anything. And the initial sound is boring. So, get into the randomizer and start pressing buttons. Awesome. So what's going on in here? This is much more complicated than BSFXR or SFXR, which just has one sound as far as I know. This mixes multiple sounds together. So we can see this one had three sounds initially. Let's just try out one of them. This is this is just one of the elements of one sound that LabChirp produces. Wow. <laughs> Man, that's nice. Wow, wow. Anyways. Wow. Playing them together is even nicer. So once you found some awesome sounds, you should save Control S and you just enter some name and don't worry about the LCH lab chirp file format. Because it saves the file as an LCH, which is a configuration file for LabChirp, as well as a WAV file. So just play around, press randomize, and more. Randomize. Don't stop. Keep pressing, because it's amazing. And you can, at some point, maybe you get a feel for what you want. Maybe you want more complexity, then let's just crank this up to... Here are the parameters for the randomizer. We can say that we want at least six different sounds mixed together, max of, ma maximum of eight. Let's try it out. This takes a little bit longer because it ma has to ca um, calculate more stuff. We can reduce the length, let's say six. No, 6,000. This should be a bit less, a bit more than a second. Actually, much less than a second. You can see the, the final value here. <laughs> Let's see what happens if we play around with the frequencies. More laserish, maybe. And the other way. Much deeper. Cool, cool, cool. Bit short, let's crank this up. And this one was maybe a little much, so let's get down to max of six, maybe. Nah. Crazy. We can even, like, even more put even more restriction on the uh, randomizer in here and yeah if you have any idea what's your, what you're doing you will benefit a great a great lot from all these options oh nice 
And if not, just keep pressing randomize. So let's take a look at the editor here. Um, for example, the most common issue was that sounds either start too abruptly or end too abruptly. Usually the start is not an issue, the end sometimes is, like here. Did Yeah, so let's try to make this a bit softer. This, this is a lot of work, so you have to figure out which sound is most responsible for the ending. And basically I just go into all of them. And then I right click to like I right click in here to click to get the uh, nearest node and then I can drag it with the left mouse button. Whoops. <coughs> and you have to switch between the channels to do it for all of them. On on touchpads, right click usually is two finger tap. And left click drag is usually double click and drag. Okay, this one is already. Actually, let's crank this up. See if this gives us anything. And this one too. Right, let's try it out. Nice. Let's save this with Control S, maybe. Yes, Control S works. Blah two. <clears throat> so you can use Control S without overwriting the old one. That's perfect. And as a finale to this video, let me just press randomize. Maybe a hundred more times.
that should be enough. I hope you have fun with the app.